Hi Internet! In one of the early videos, my friend Sean did a funky rap about new media rights to help teach you about copyright. Sean. Activate. My name is Sean and I'm here to say, new media rights is here to stay. Now that we have that rap on tape, I want to register it at the copyright office so we can start shopping it around to record labels. But OMG, there are so many forms on the copyright office's website, do you know which one I should use? Well, I do. This video will tell you the right forms you'll need to register your own music with the Copyright Office. We also have the links to more detailed information in the description. The short answer is that you'll need to use either Form PA or Form SR. The long answer is, well, just keep watching. If you've watched previous videos, you know that as soon as you write or record your music, you have copyright protection. But you can still go one step further after you get that automatic protection and formally register your music with the Copyright Office. Registering your work gives you a few advantages over non-registered people. We talked about those advantages in another video. Those advantages aren't free though. Registration costs $35 through the Copyright Office's online system called the ECO. For musicians, you can register up to 20 songs for $35 if those songs haven't been published yet. That's not $35 per song, that's 35 bucks for all 20 songs. Pretty good deal, right? Now let's talk about the two different forms that musicians need to be aware of when you register. Form number one, Form PA. Form PA is used for performing arts works. This includes musical works and audiovisual stuff like movies. You should use Form PA if the only part of your music you want to register is the underlying musical composition. The underlying musical composition means all of the notes of the song, the chord progressions, the structure, or the sheet music. Three examples. A, you would use Form PA if you wrote a song, but you still haven't actually performed it or recorded it yet. Or B, you would use Form PA if you wrote a song that someone else then performed on the CD you're registering. Or C, you could use Form PA if you were an orchestral composer whose work only exists as sheet music. The most important thing you should know is that the Copyright Office separates the rights a person has to the musical compositions from the rights someone has to a sound recording. Even though those might seem like the same things, to the Copyright Office, those are two completely different, independent, separate, not the same, even a little bit things. We have a video that takes a lot of time to define what musical compositions are, but for now, all you need to know is that musical compositions are way different from sound recordings. Moving on, form number two, form SR. Form SR is the only other form you have to worry about if you're trying to register your music. Form SR is the one you choose if you want to register a sound recording. So a musical composition, as we just went over, is like the sheet music of a song. The sound recording is what the, that sheet music sounds like when someone performs into a recording device. Two examples. You should use SR if you were a singer of the song, but you weren't actually the person who wrote the song you're singing. Or B, you could use Form SR if you were a producer who assisted in recording the song, but you didn't actually contribute anything to the music or the words in the song. Also, there's a second, more important purpose for Form SR. You should use Form SR if you own the rights to both the musical composition and the sound recording. This is because with Form SR, you can register both together at the same time. For example, you should use Form SR if you and your band both wrote and recorded your album totally on your own. Moving on, here's a tip when you're confused. You can find all of the Copyright Office's detailed rules and documents called the Copyright Circulars. You can Google that term. We've put the Copyright Circular information for both Form PA and SR in the video description. Enjoy filling out those forms! But if you have any money left over after you're done registering your music, why not leave us a donation at newmediarights.org or on our YouTube channel? Then we can make more videos.